Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark. Really quick, I am at the hill, and here's the... I'm going to put a link on this really quick little video I wanted to show you. The sites where I go to to get interesting information and real news. It's called thehill.com. And what you can do is click on energy and environment, and it'll pop up this page that shows you all their articles and videos and regulations. But this is interesting because this talks about that the NRC, the GAO, said that the NRC does not do its cost benefit and its cost analysis. What's it called? Uh, reliable cost analysis for its rules. It basically said uh, we found that the NRC's. What's that say? We found that. NRC's cost estimating procedures satisfied only one characteristic, adding that the procedures are well documented. The GAO report was spurred by Congressional Republicans' concern that the NRC's proposed rule to require filtered venting systems to prevent nuclear meltdowns was not properly analyzed. Can you believe these rat bastards? Uh, the GAO report confirms my suspicion that the NRC's cost estimates are egregiously off target from the actual cost of implementing their regulations. David, that's David Vitter. So that is completely shocking. And then this pops up here. You can click on this, and it does, if for some reason it wasn't on that page. But then this is about. The senators, all of the Republican senators voted no to this nominee. And really, when you read into it further, there's another article. The reason they said no, he lacks experience. Because he has, the first time he was ever on a nuclear power facility, look what this says. The facts cannot be understated. Mr. Barone visited a nuclear power facility for the first time in his life earlier this year. They might as well put me on the fucking committee, right? I mean, how did that guy get nominated? I wonder how much money he gave to Obama. And so here's a secondary story on that. Senators clash over nuclear regulators confirmation. It's more the same of that whole thing. It's... And then you come here and you can click on this environment and uh, other page. But, sorry this is so dodgy. I can't, I do not know how to do this whole uh, screenshot and all that stuff that you have to do. But look at this. There's There was something on here that I really wanted you guys to see. It really blew me away. I hope it's still there. Uh, to hear challenge on the EPA Mercury Rule, right? Supreme Court to hear the challenge on the Mercury Rule. That's going to be a very interesting thing. Environmental, this, this fucking made me laugh. Environmental groups sue feds over tuna fishing. Environmental groups are suing the National Marine Fisheries to protect big eye tuna they say are being overfished. Holy fuck, the tuna are all contaminated with nuclear radiation and these dumbasses are suing the government. They're not talking about the radiation that the uh, tuna fish have. They're talking about it being overfished. I mean, it, it's so unbelievable. There's just zero... Who is this? Catherine Kuldiff, the Center for Biological Diversity. She said the solution for saving big eye tuna is not creating a new loophole so that they can be fished even more. We need to be smart about protecting this valuable resource or soon it will be gone. What a stupid fuck. It's going to be gone anyways, you dumbass lady.